what's up everybody welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome to my channel so today i'm going to be doing a pack with me for kalahari indoor water park and i'm so excited um excuse my looks i haven't showered or anything yet i was waiting until i got everything loaded up into the car before i do that because i always break out into a sweat trying to carry all this heavy stuff um and we're going for my graduation party so we have a ton of stuff to put in the car so i'm going to show you guys what i'm packing so let's get started Okay, I wasn't really sure exactly where to begin because um, I'm taking a lot of stuff. Like I said, it's for my graduation party. So we have like decorations and food and drinks and a whole bunch of stuff. But I don't know if you guys want to see all of that. So I figure I will start with the stuff that's going in my suitcase and then I'll kind of just briefly show you everything else. So this is the outfit I'm going to wear today. Just this little v-neck, some super stretchy ripped jeans and this cardigan um, it's about 45 degrees outside right now and personally I don't really like traveling in like like sweatpants or like super bummy clothes um, just personal preference I don't really know why but so this is what I'm gonna be wearing in the car um, this is my swimsuit cover-up and I got this from American Eagle then over here we'll just kind of go down the line um, phone charger watch charger my towel um like bathing towel i guess i do have what's it called beach towels and i'll show you guys those in a second but i always like to bring a towel from home just because like i don't know i just don't really like to use the hotel towels if i don't have to so bring a towel um and this thing i'm gonna show you guys but actually i had got this a long time ago and i think i got this before i went to cancun and did not even use it um because before i put this stuff in here it was still like brand new in the package but i ended up just putting a few things in here um just to make things easier so this is my body wash this is my face wash this is my psoriasis shampoo i have a little bit of very mild psoriasis on my scalp so i use a special shampoo for that and i don't know how the chlorine is gonna like mess with that so i want to make sure i have you know my shampoo on hand in case my scalp flares up and then right here we just have a little bit of bio oil um my skin always gets super super dry at kalahari and we are taking like regular lotion as well but i like my bio oil just to make sure that i stay super hydrated and uh moisturized so that's that and this cute little thing obviously if you guys have never seen these before which i'm sure most of you probably have um these are for primarily for flying um which is why like i said i had got these for my trip to cancun which was like four years ago didn't even use them but i figure you know might as well use them now so anyway moving on we have a razor we have some conditioner shampoo deep conditioner can never be too prepared because again i'm sure the chlorine is probably going to screw up my hair and my scalp and i'll be all dry so i want to make sure that i'm prepared for all of that so i have just a pair of leggings these gymshark leggings underneath that i have a pair of sweatpants that i'm also going to pack um two pairs of shorts one pair is kind of like a not like a dressy but just you know wear those with like a nice shirt just pull on shorts and then just some basic under armor shorts I have my camera bag, which is where the camera will go once I get done filming all of this stuff. And then just a few shirts, not taking anything fancy, um, a v-neck, a tank top, a couple t-shirts to sleep in. Underneath that we have bras and underwear and a hoodie, Kings Island hoodie. This is my favorite hoodie. Um, I got this when I was 17 and I had got it on a whim because I was at the park and it was raining. And I got this, it was like $45, and my aunt was like, you better <laughs> wear that hoodie. Um, basically, she was like joking around. She was like, you better wear it like every day. And um, I do. I wear it all the time. This has gotten way more than $45 worth of wear out of it. I love, love, love this hoodie. It is almost 10 years old. You can see it has stains on it. It has makeup stains. I don't care. I love this hoodie. So, yeah, we definitely got our money's worth. So, there's that. I take that everywhere. I wear it all the time. So now I'm going to show you guys over here. Here's my suitcase. Now this is my first time traveling with like a proper suitcase. Um, normally I take like four overnight bags. Don't ask. Um, <laughs> but I got a suitcase. This was actually from TJ Maxx. And I wanted something with wheels that would be easier to just kind of push, you know, around through the lobby, through the parking lot, whatever. Um, I already have all my swimsuits in here. I have an extra face mask. These are my beach towels. So I'm gonna go ahead and 
fold up all that stuff. Hopefully it fits in here. If not, I'll have to figure out something else. But over here, we have some random things. Um, of course, I have my two turn Tony beer bong, of course. Um, <laughs> I have some no polish remover, cotton balls, no polish because I need to paint my toes when I get there. Extra memory cards, one for the camera, one is for my dash cam in my car. Um, Moroccan oil, leave-in conditioner, eye drops. I have baby wipes. I have my own toilet paper because I hate that super thin, crispy hotel toilet paper. So I just like to bring my own. This baggie, which has tweezers, hair ties, and bobby pins, a wide tooth comb. I have naturally very, very thick curly hair. I don't brush it. I don't own a brush. I have a wide tooth comb and I have a fine tooth comb. That's it. I don't use anything else to, you know, mess with my hair because it breaks off super easily. So I have a Bluetooth speaker and the charger for that. And then this is the bag that all of the bath and shower stuff will go in. There's like a waterproof phone thing that's like in this bag from last year but I always use this bag for all my shower stuff it's just like an unwritten rule that I <laughs> only use that bag so all of my like towel my toothbrush the shampoo conditioner all of these little things will all go into this bag so I'm gonna go ahead and try to get as much of this packed up and then I'll show you guys what it looks like once it's all packed up okay so I think I got everything sorted out um everything fit perfectly fine without any issues so i was really surprised um when i said overnight bags i realized people probably think i'm insane these are what i was talking about i usually take like four or five of these bags like these exact same bags um i have like a whole bunch of different colors um yeah not like big overnight duffel bags i usually take a whole bunch of those and as you can see in comparison they're not that big compared to my suitcase that is why i wanted to get the suitcase um just to make things easier and it was so much easier packing all this stuff up so the only other things i have to get is just my toothbrush and what else toothpaste once i shower but everything else is pretty much ready to go i have my kalahari souvenir cup this has liquor in it <laughs> we have beer um cards against humanity what do you mean this is a table decoration that has to come with us and I'll step back. You guys can see everything. Um, this is like drinks, snacks, breakfast stuff. Um, there are two large plastic bins that my mom and my aunt are going to bring because those don't fit in my car. Um, so I'll have to show you guys those in another video because I will film as much of the trip as I can. And I'll kind of show you guys the room. We got a whole bunch of de decorations. Um, our room, it's not like a suite, but it has a full kitchen. Um, and it has like a separate like bedroom. So I guess it kind of is a suite, but it's not like a massive, you know, suite, but, <laughs> um, we're going to decorate and do all of that. So it's going to look super cute for my party. Um, but yeah, this is pretty much all the stuff and I just have to put all this in my car and then Maddox, here he is. Um, <laughs> say hi. I forgot to show. Okay. So Here's his litter that we're taking with us. And then his food is tucked in this bag. Um, as you guys know, Kalahari is not pet friendly. So Maddox won't be coming to Kalahari with us, but we do have other arrangements set up for him. He will be in Sandusky. He just won't be able to be at Kalahari. So yeah, that's kind of how that's gonna go. Um, but he has a travel litter box that I have to get out of the closet and then his carrier, obviously. And that's pretty much everything. So yeah. So that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing everything that I plan on taking with me and kind of seeing how I packed everything up. Um, if you guys did enjoy this video, please be sure to give it a like and subscribe to my channel. Make sure you guys stay tuned and check out my upcoming Kalahari videos so you guys can see the trip and kind of see how everything looks and how everything went. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!